I'm Sharon Ross with the Capital City Arts Initiative. We're here in the Courthouse Gallery and going to show you paintings by Claire Pasquier. This is work that she painted while she lived in San Francisco and she now lives in Bordeaux, France. We hope that you come see the show. Hi, I'm Claire Pasquier. I'm a painter. I'm French and I grew up in Provence and then I studied in Paris, history of art, and then I did the NSAD, um, a school of uh, decorative art, where I studied um, set design. My uh, first love was uh, painting practice, so I, I tried to study painting as much as I could. And after I met my husband in Paris, I moved to California and I started uh, exploring the Californian culture. And uh, my art went along. I was very inspired in many ways. Claire, welcome. Um, you mentioned when you moved to San Francisco from Paris that your new city offered some surprises. The images from Hitchcock movies were not fantasy, um, but were actually in the neighborhood. Tell us more about the imp this impact on your work and the realities, the switch from something that's real or something that's on the screen. Yeah, so the um, impact when I saw that the movie where uh, made where I lived now um, was that I was used to paint from reality or draw from reality and this time I was attracted to go back on the TV and rent the movies I watched when I was a kid so um, I rented like Hitchcock movies and also some some Star Wars movie where because I knew George Lucas was from San Francisco so here you can see Luke from the first towers. Um, so I captured the TV screen. It was like old TV, the tube TV, uh, with my camera, not phone at the time, I think. And then uh, all of a sudden, uh, the screen appeared to be such a, a good uh, source of inspiration. And something that I didn't expect was very technical, happened with every overlapping uh, patterns like if you take a photo of the screen a moiré will show up uh, and in print it happens but that's a mistake <laughs> it's something you want to correct and I thought it was a beautiful metaphor of you know the distance the virtuality that we started to live in and more and more through the years so I that was my my inspiration and start something totally new that I didn't expect your paintings are based on the human figure. You have several that are more abstract. So please talk about those. Um, these pieces are uh, from um, famous art pieces. Uh, after a while doing movies and my personal life, I also uh, embraced the collection uh, I was surrounded with, uh, other art, famous art pieces. So um, I thought as like this, the language of Moiré was settled, I thought it was interesting um, or maybe, I don't know, funny uh, for people to recognize famous pieces um, so they would kind of um, understand my language. <laughs> so th these are um, uh, ice cream cones from Wayne Thiebaud painting. That is, you know, the huge painter <laughs> for uh, San Francisco and the Bay Area. And, in California. And this one is um, by uh, Franz Marc. It's actually an art piece that is in the SF MoMA collection. And uh, Franz Marc is like a cubist and a abstract expressionist painter. And I, I really liked his color. I was playing uh, even more with, uh, with the um, geometrical lines on this piece. Claire, talk more about the title of the show, Moray, and, and the reference to the images in your paintings? So Moiré is, I mean, I found out in, in the dictionary f to explain the um, aesthetic I was <laughs> inspired with. Um, I don't know if there's another word, but Moiré happened. Apparently it started with, with fabric when they were doing um, fabric, they were pressing fabric together, I think, and that would uh, not correspond, the grid wouldn't correspond exactly, so uh, that was a distortion and they kept it as a, actually as a good aesthetic um, in the fabric. They started to do a new, uh, 
new style of fabric. <laughs> so um, when I, uh, I started to translate the effect, not with a palette knife anymore, um, that the TV was giving me um, when I took photos of the TV. Um, I, yeah, I tried to overlap like circle or elliptic or distorted uh, lines. Uh, and so I did a couple of try and on this one it's um, like, yeah, circles and lines together. So that would kind of give uh, this, uh, this illusion of, of a screen or something virtual at least. The subject on this one is uh, much more uh, personal because after a series of uh, painting from movies, I, um, I thought, oh, okay, so I, now I have the language, the Moiré language, and why don't I apply it to my personal life and uh, to just, just to see where, you know, the, the, the past, I mean, it's already done, and now it's in the uh, photo album, and uh, let's translate it into something that was uh, as... Uh, memorable as the uh, Hitchcock movies or <laughs> other things. <laughs> so um, this is my husband and I when we first met. <laughs> Claire, tell us um, what you're working on now and where your work is the next steps. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm uh, doing moires with oil. I really figured out um, a way to, to work with more impasto uh, that was uh, that was another step for me, because um, all of these are uh, like um, layers, but thin layers. And so I, I tried to do impasto now. And also, as for the subject, I, I am more concerned, like probably a lot of people about like nature and the, its resources. And I've been also very attracted to trees as a child. So I know how complex it is and, and I try to go towards more like a naturalistic landscape, trees, and yeah, the leaves and all its variations, that is very complex. And to me, there is like a link between the virtual world that is still like not understandable. It's hard to, to just have <laughs> the idea where we're going. And I was thinking, you know, the trees is so complex as well, but it's there next to us. So I am working on the, on nature landscape with my moires. And also, I don't hesitate to go almost abstract, like so many lines that sometimes the subject, we're not sure if it's, um, if it's um, a tree leaf, and that's fine, because I also think it's, it's, a good, um, it's a good opportunity for people to use their imagination. If it's very figurative, they don't use their imagination. So just... Uh, just a way to play with only colors, line colors, and so people can figure it out, play with it. <laughs> Claire, these pieces are acrylic on canvas, so discuss your choice for using acrylic and also how that you created these pieces for San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Yeah, these pieces are in acrylic um, because in the process of doing the moires, I De deconstruct the image I take uh, into the printing process. So the magenta, yellow, and cyan are separated. So I found it uh, with acrylic adding medium to have the translucid um, 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 painting <laughs> that would allow to have the mixing show up and create the, the green and the, the purple uh, variations. Uh, I'm now using oil it's a, in my very new work, but for a very long time I used acrylic. Uh, I didn't know how to manage that in oil, really. So Claire, um, you created, these were commissioned pieces by the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art? Yeah, at the time uh, I was part of the SF MoMA Artist Gallery that was linked to the SF MoMA. And they asked, um, the SF MoMA asked for the bottom, um, windows on the street level floor before they remodeled the entire museum. They had these huge windows and they asked some artists to, um, to participate and exhibit some pieces. And so um, I created these pieces according to the size of the windows. 
of Mina and Natoma Street, I believe that was the name. And so um, this piece was made, and the one also of um, me and my husband kissing. I have uh, other pieces that are probably triple the size uh, to fit uh, that were made too. They didn't fit in this exhibition, <laughs> not on the stairs, <laughs> didn't go through. But um, that was a very, uh, very good opportunity to, to show my art. I think a lot of people saw, uh, seen this piece and, uh, and then there was a, a successful, uh, I'd say, uh, career after that. <laughs> if you want to know more about my work, I regularly post on Instagram. It is Claire Pasquier my first name and Pasquier is P-A-S-Q-U-I-E-R and also I have a, a website clairepasquier.com where you can see all the works as well. Um, More Claire's exhibition is up in the Courthouse Gallery through September 29th. We'd love to have you come see the show and there's plenty of free parking here in Carson City at the Courthouse. Thank you Claire for bringing your work to Northern Nevada and to Carson City, we're delighted, thank you. We also want to acknowledge the wonderful collaboration with Vivian Zabatoro, um, Chief Curator at the Lilly Museum of Art at the University of Nevada, Reno. And thank you to the courthouse for the use of the space and CCA's generous funders for helping support this exhibition. You'll find more exhibition videos on our YouTube website and please enjoy.